Hello, I'm Mark Wilson, President and CEO of the Florida Chamber of Commerce. When it comes to securing Florida's future, there are few issues more important than water. With six million more people expected to call Florida home by 2030, science-based solutions are the only way to ensure Florida's water future is sustainable and provides the quality of life Floridians and our visitors deserve. Water is a statewide concern, and unfortunately, sometimes local and state politicians want to do what's popular when what we actually need is to do what the science tells us. Whether it's the Apalachicola River, the Indian River Lagoon, Florida's unique springs, or our treasured Everglades, science-based data is the key to meeting the challenges Florida faces. So together with Harbor Branch research scientist, Dr. Brian LaPointe, the Florida Chamber of Commerce is pleased to present this educational video, and we hope it will spur conversations and collective action to help solve these issues. Thank you. Hi, I'm Dr. Brian LaPointe, research professor with Florida Atlantic University's Harbor Branch Oceanographic Institute. I've spent decades studying water quality throughout Florida, including nutrient pollution and harmful algal blooms. The Kissimmee River Basin extends south from Orlando to Lake Okeechobee and encompasses thousands of square miles. Drainage projects, along with other human activities, have altered the quantity and quality of water flowing south to Lake Okeechobee, the Everglades, and the downstream estuaries. This project with the Florida Chamber allows my colleagues and I an opportunity to share information on the Kissimmee River restoration, as well as other strategies that are underway to protect these important water resources for future generations. <laughs> Roughly one-third of the water in Lake Okeechobee comes from the Kissimmee River. So, while there has been a lot of focus of late on providing storage south of the lake, it is important to also remember that the system is bigger than that, and we have to look at what's coming into the lake from the north in order to address these water management challenges holistically. The Army Corps engineers uh, channelized a significant portion of the Kissimmee River uh, from the Kissimmee Chain of Lakes all the way down to Lake Okeechobee. And that took uh, all of that water that used to stay on the landscape and slowly find its way across channels and sloughs and through wetlands that would purify, all of a sudden was being rapidly shunted into the lake at very high velocities and uh, here very high volumes. A big part of Everglades restoration, as well as the Kissimmee River restoration project, is creation of storage. That storage will allow us to reduce the discharges to the Caloosahatchee and the St. Lucie estuaries. We're re-establishing the floodplain, but at the same time we're maintaining flood protection for the people who are still living in this, in this basin. So as we do positive things in restoration in the Kissimmee Basin, it has positive impacts all the way to Florida Bay. The water's not going to come rushing into the lake. It's going to be sitting in a big, wide floodplain. It's going to be getting cleaned by the plants that are there. And so it slows the water movement down. It makes it cleaner. The project was done for environmental restoration, but it's going to help us with our water problems in Okeechobee and downstream. In the lower agricultural area watersheds, we're entering into public-private partnerships with large landowners to try to keep more water on their landscapes, run it through vegetative systems such that it takes up nutrients and keeps it in the watershed. Between all those projects, we're getting significant reductions to, to the lake. It's uh, been estimated by the experts that we have reduced dairy farm runoff of phosphorus from this basin by over 80%. Not only the wastewater that, uh, that is collected from cleaning the barns, uh, during milking and after milking, these freestall barns, what we use to clean these, that water is all recycled. There's another entire uh, issue in the watershed as well. It's a highly uh, urbanized developing area in the very, very north end. The closer you get to Orlando area, you see a lot of communities that have sprung up over the last 10 or 15 years. Many of those are on septic tank systems, and I think that remains one of the larger challenges we have, this source of um, 
nitrogen and phosphorus that leaches right into our waterways from a septic tank system. Mm -hmm.